Hi guys, welcome to my uh, latest video. Now, I wasn't going to do one probably for another week because I haven't really got that many pickups and they're not really that interesting, quite frankly. Well, maybe one of them kind of is. Um, but I looked at my videos and I think it's been like a couple of weeks since I did another one and really I'd like to start doing more videos. I mean, I've only done like 30 something and I've been, I've been using like YouTube for like three years and I've been making videos for like, I don't know, since December. So really 30 something videos is a pretty ridiculous return. But um, I guess it's finding time and all the usual stuff. So maybe that'll be my New Year's resolution for next year. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, so all these pickups, um, they're all for the PS3. So it's like a PS3 extravaganza. Now there's two, they're probably the least interesting ones. So I'll very quickly kind of gloss over them. They're ones which I actually bought uh, a while back but I didn't put them on a previous pickup video. I just forgot about it. Um, they're nothing special at all but I guess they're decent for part of a collection. And the first one is Avatar. I picked up really cheap. Uh, we're talking like maybe ten, fifteen dollars so it's about I don't know, eight, nine quid. Um, even that might be a rip-off, I'm thinking. But Because uh, I've got real no desire to play that game but like I say, part of the collection maybe. And also this one. Now, again I picked up really cheap. Uh, in fact it came as part of a bundle uh, so I didn't really have a choice. I've already got this on the 360. It's Aliens vs Predator. Um, and I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. Now I only played... Whoa! I always drop things but then I always catch it. It's bloody good cat-like reflexes I've got. Um, yeah, now, what, was I, what was I saying? Completely throw me. I've got this on the 360. I've only played it, uh, played it as a Marine um, for maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes. I'd like to get back into it because I, you know, I really loved it, particularly the, the first couple of Alien movies. Alien and Aliens. But it didn't really do anything for me, but I, I want to try and get back into it. Anyway, so these for me, these next one, two, three, four, five, are the best ones as far as I'm concerned. Nothing rare, obviously it's PS3, so you're not going to find anything rare yet. That's going to be for years to come. But let's see, which one should I do first? I guess let's do this one because this kind of made me laugh. Now I've got, um, it's Uncharted 2 by the way, um, which is obviously meant to be a, an amazing game. Now, I've got the first one, I still haven't completed it. I keep meaning to go back to it and I just keep forgetting. But I'm not going to put this on, um, or at least I'm not going to play it properly until I finish the first one. But it made me laugh because I've been putting off getting this for the best part of six months. And then uh, the very day that I, or the night that I ordered it, um, no, it was actually, I ordered it from Amazon with a stack of other these other games, and it was due to arrive the next day, which they did. But the morning that they were due to arrive, I had an email from Amazon, a separate email, saying, oh, Uncharted 2 Game of the Year edition's coming out. I thought, for God's sake. You know, I just bought this one, and the very next day, it's like the, the big version of the DLC, free and all that comes out. But whatever. I mean, it wasn't cheap anyway. It was only about $30, so it's about 20 quid. So it's normal, a normal price. I've not paid over the odds, I don't think I've paid under. It's about what you'd expect. But I'm pleased to have it. Okay, so the next one. Now this one I played the demo of when it first came out. Um, and I did like it, but I was a little bit concerned that it was just a bit too much of like a an early 90s FMV kind of game. Uh, I'm sure you'll be more than aware of, of Heavy Rain. Um, and I did like it, it was kind of very engrossing just for the demo, but I just, like I said, I was a little bit concerned it was just too much, you know, like press circle, press square, like real time kind of events, and it was a little bit cheesy. Um, but yeah, everyone got it, you know, gave it really good reviews, so um, I picked it up. Again, I think it was $25. So again, I feel that's a good price, considering on release day I very nearly bought it for 60 So uh, it's another good one to add to the collection. Now, two which came out um, last, was it last week? I know Dead Rising, Dead Rising 2, I think it came out on Tuesday. I think over in the UK it came out last Friday, so you guys had this before. We did over here, which is annoying. <laughs> but um, now I only put this on for literally about 20 minutes. And I kind of like it, it's quite fun, but it really annoyed me. And that's because um, I played the, the intro and the first like 10 minutes of the game, and then I knocked it off because I thought it would auto-save, and it doesn't. You've got to manually save yourself. So next time I play the game, I've got to go back from scratch. I'm just grateful I only played 15, 20 minutes, because if I'd have played it by two hours, I'd have been really furious. But anyway, so it's a good game. I really should have waited, quite frankly. I shouldn't have paid full whack for it. Um, but there you go. Now and again, when it comes to money, I'm not the best. I kind of go through phases. Some days, sometimes, 
or some days I'm great with money, some days I just, oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, now this one, FIFA 11, I'm a massive football fan anyway. This came out on Tuesday. And again, it's kind of weird because over in the UK, where you'd have thought FIFA soccer, football, whatever, you'd have thought that would come out there first. But I believe this is coming out tomorrow, or maybe I guess today, Friday, depending on when you're um, watching this. For the sake of the video, this is 1.54 Thursday afternoon in California, and you're eight hours ahead in the UK. I say like you're, as if like the only people who are watching this are people from the UK. You know what I mean. So anyway, so I'm really glad I got this, and um, yeah, it's a great game, it really is. There are a number of bugs, I've found a lot already, which is kind of annoying, but they don't ruin the game. Um, but some silly little stuff, like you do wonder how it actually sneaked into uh, to the final game and passed the playtesting. But uh, it's still the best football game, and again, as I've said many, many times, quite how this has managed to overtake Pro Evolution as the best football game is beyond me. Because Pro Evolution had a stranglehold on the football market. Uh, the games were just superb, and the last four or five they've had have been awful. Awful. And I played the demo of Pro Evolution to, uh, 2011, and I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. It just really, really surprised me. Okay, so last but not least, for this current pickup video, now what I want to do is I want to do, if I can, um, I'm not sure whether it's really practical, but I'm going to try and do a separate video for this, maybe tomorrow. Um, because I do feel it kind of deserves it. Um, it made me laugh actually, because I've got like 50 or 60, you know, I've got to do this here, friends on the PS3. I only know, I probably about 10 of the maximum are true, like, kind of friends. The rest of them I just kind of met online. Which I guess they're still kind of friends, but some I just never play with. But anyway, I was looking at, um, on the leaderboards, and the only person out of every one of my friends list to have this game is me, <laughs> which I, I found amazing, because this thing's just come out. It's going to be really big, I think. Uh, or maybe not, um, but anyway, enough of the suspense. Basically, what I, out and, uh, I went out and bought is PS3 Move. So it's a big purchase. I mean, this is pricey. It was $100. So again, for the benefit of everyone in the UK, you're looking at what, maybe 75 quid? Now, what it came with, I'm not gonna show you like every little nook and cranny, but you, you got your camera, your eye camera. Obviously, it's all official stuff. Um, now, I had one of these in the past, but I, I never used it because I didn't have a need to. In fact, the only thing I ever used it for was to put my face in for Rainbow Six Vegas 2, which was kind of fun, but that's all I used it for. Um, obviously, it comes with uh, a little game in a normal standard case with the little blue thing on the side, as you can see. It says uh, PS Move or PlayStation Move. So I like that, the kind of the uniformity, so you can easily identify all the, the PlayStation Move games that you've got. Um, now this is quite, it's quite good really, it comes with uh, disc golf, uh, beach volleyball, archery, table tennis, gladiator duel, and is it bocce? I think that's how you pronounce it, I think it's like an Italian game. Um, now it's quite good. I'm not going to talk too much about all that, because like I said, I'd like to do some kind of video on it, if I can, figuring out how to do it though. Um, actually I said I wasn't going to show you everything, but let's have a quick look inside the box. Annoyingly, and this really is like kind of splitting hairs, but as you can see there on the side of the box, it's just little bit of cellophane or sticker I had to kind of cut. It makes it look a little bit scruffy, but I guess I can peel that off. It just seemed a little bit, I don't know, a little bit slack. But maybe I'm being incessantly fussy there. So it comes with, all, you know, the standard leaflets and all the rest, a few more leaflets in there. And also a demo disc. And the demo disc has got a stack of games on there. Annoyingly, you've got to install a multi-hard drive before you play them, which I found was a little bit ridiculous. I've not played all of them. Um, I played one called The Shoot which I thought was amazing. It's like a gun game, similar to like Time Crisis, if you like. Um, I thought it was really good. I think it's coming out next month. Uh, well, yeah, October tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna get it. It looks really, really good, and it plays really well. Um, so yeah, so again, I'll go over that in more detail. Very briefly go over the controller. There it is. Now these things light up. It's very squishy as well, if you can see that. You can literally just squeeze it, it squishes. Very sturdy, um, rounded off, unlike kind of the Wii controller, which is kind of squared off. It's the same thing, it comes with the, you know, the strap that you put in, the little PlayStation uh, snap tag there. And then the buttons on the front, you've obviously got your square, your X, your circle, your triangle. Um, you have a little button on the front here, like a fire button. Your PlayStation home kind of button. Um, and at the back, a trigger. Again, similar to like the Wii, I guess. Um, it's really easy to use. I found it really accurate, much more than the Wii. Um, but there's still a few duds in there. I didn't like table tennis. I played it once. 
I should point out, but I didn't like it. Um, the archery I thought was fantastic. I love the archery. It's probably my favourite. Volleyball was alright, um, but like I say, the archery was probably my favourite. What else is on there? Let me just, even though I just read it out a minute ago, I forgot already. Um, Gladiator Jewel. Yeah, I'm not really my favourite, but I know a lot of people have ranted and raved about it. Uh, disc golf I quite liked. So it's kind of like, uh, well, it's golf with a disc. It's <laughs> disc golf, I guess. It's kind of funny. But anyway, like I say, um, I'm going to try and do a video of this. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, but if I can, I, I will. If I can't, I can't. So anyway, guys, I've got a few things arriving soon, as I always do. Uh, but for now, I just thought I'd do a, a bit of a video uh, just for my PS3 pickups because it's been probably a couple of weeks since I did my last one. So I just want to keep with the loop, you know? So um, if you've got any comments, feel free to comment. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. See you later. Adios.